Hey YouTube kittens, it's Kathy Cat. Japan is unique when it comes to food as each region has their own local specialties. And since Japanese people are big foodies, they are willing to travel near and far to try them. You might already know that Osaka and Hiroshima are known for their different types of okonomiyaki. Aomori is famous for its apples, Hokkaido for dairy products and such. I got to visit both Shimonoseki and Kita Kyushu and sample their local specialities. So in this video, I'm gonna try Kita Kyushu's most popular dish, the yakikare, the baked curry. Originating from the city of Mojiko, this dish is a bowl of rice that is covered with Japanese curry and baked in an oven. Very strong and curry flavor and super filling, this is a total comfort food dish. There are different variations to this dish, as you'll find out. So let's go and check out their top 7. First stop is Curry Hompo, located next to Mojiko Port and the train station. It sits on the second floor of this building and is said to be one of the oldest curry places for yaki curry in Mojiko. There were a lot of different types of curry in their menu, but I got to order the really traditional one. It says also it's like 30 years of history and more. That one had Wagyu from Kyushu and you know, Wagyu is the good Japanese beef where the cows live a really good life. So because they didn't have the usual cheese that is now on top of the yakikure, they had like all other cheese in the old days. They have like little cubes of cheese that are all around the curry. What makes this yakikuri even more special is the topping. Generally there is an egg with a runny yolk, so you burst it and let the yolk run wild in the middle of the rice. It tastes so good. Also there's like a spicy oil here, but it's not too spicy. And then there's some pickles here, and you can have that together. The director had some too. He's like, this is probably the most fragrant curry I've ever had. Big spoonful of curry. So having the curry with the view at the sea, this is exactly where we arrived with the ferry earlier. It's really, really relaxing. I feel like so royal. Next stop is Cafe Ampi, located across the famous Blue Wing Bridge. They're serving ice cream and they turn the speciality into a dish to go. So we're currently trying to get more different types of yaki curry and they do yaki curry, yaki kare with a hot dog. So I'm excited about that one. And here it is. This one has cheese on top. Most of you have probably heard of clam chowder or a similar soup dish being served in a round bowl made entirely of bread. Well, here at Rokuyokan, which is located near the main Mojiko post office, they serve yaki curry in exactly the same way, topped with cheese and herbs. There's even a bread lid. I got mine as a set with coffee and a dessert. Yep! What's unique with Rokuyokan is their live jazz and blues acts performed by local artists under a rather quaint aesthetic. Next stop is uniquely named Princess Fifi, located right in front of the Mojiko train station. Their take of the yaki curry has been inspired by the flavors from the Thai island of Fifi. There's a large selection to choose from, such as fish egg curry, super vegetable curry, and even curry in the form of pizza. Now the owner of the restaurant has traveled the world, sampling different cuisines and came back to Japan to open his own place. There's even the story of it in the menu. I ordered the paella style king yaki curry, which is filled with seasonal vegetables, meat and fish, served in a paella pot. You can even buy their products so you can enjoy the taste of Fifi in the comfort of your own home. Mitsubachi curry brings a different level of dining as it is a bistro that serves curry in an open and relaxing space with a large selection of overseas wine. Now Mitsubashi means honeybee in Japanese and as the name suggests, they use honey as part of their ingredients for their curry dishes. As you can see, this dish looks delicious. We are demolishing this one. It's so good. We have like loads of different types of meat, egg, rice, everything. Deep. Malish, because it's deep lish. So what does Old Muji Mitsui Club and Dr. Albert Einstein have in common? Well, he visited the same building when touring Japan. It is now a restaurant serving the blowfish fugu and yakikuri in style. And yes, you can have blowfish in your yakikare. This is actually the very first time for me to have curry on tatami, on rice mats. I'm actually sitting on the floor right now. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> this time I got a seafood yakikuri along with a soup, salad and some pickles. It was 
a super posh in that place. I just saw that this house has its own little mask case. So you can see the house on the outside. And it also tells you how to place the mask into the sheet without having to touch anything. And then you can either throw it away or store it and then after food wear it again. How clever is that? I hope you enjoyed this Japanese curry food tour. There's more. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite type of yagi curry is from this video. Which one would you love to eat? Which one would you avoid? And which of these eateries would you like to visit? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like because it makes me happy. And a nice comment. Yay! And if you're subscribed, I'll see you soon for more wonderful things coming from Japan. And oh, I have a Discord community if you would like to join, where we talk about all things Japan and more. Links can be found in the description box below. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you there. Bye! Oh my god, kittens, did you know I hit another milestone on Twitch? I got partnered! Oh my gosh! It would be lovely to see you for a future stream. I stream almost every day, so come on over and hang out with me. And until next time, don't forget, life should be sweet. Let's be sweet to each other and do what you love and love what you do.